Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be a actual update video on my Poganomermax Occidentalis colony. As many of you know, or many of you may not know, uh, if you didn't watch the other video that I released about five days ago now, sorry for the late upload, I've been rather busy, um, I got this colony a while back and they are doing absolutely great. You can see they have well, a ton of workers. They have very little larvae or any eggs right now, but that's because they are going into hibernation here pretty soon. Once they go into diapause, it's not really hibernation because they don't need to be put into a really deep, deep hibernation, the colony will definitely start popping off again. As you can see, they have tons of seeds right now. This isn't even all the seeds. You'll see all the seeds later, but they are doing just great. The colony is actually still eating protein, surprisingly enough, so they're going to end up getting rid of all these uh, leftover larvae from this year, and then I'm guessing they're just going to go into hibernation officially, or, sorry, diapause. Uh, they've been taking about one to two mealworms every day, which is just great, and I also give them a few crickets and grasshoppers every once in a while from outside. So here is a little bit of tubing that leads into the outworld that has a bunch of seeds inside of it. You can see them actually moving a little bit of seed right there. Their seeds actually consist of parakeet mix, Kentucky bluegrass, and some chia seeds. I'm very surprised they actually ended up taking the parakeet mix since it's mostly European seeds, but apparently they enjoy it. They have so much of that stuff, it's just absolutely insane. You can see just all of those seeds that are just waiting to be broken up. I absolutely love seeing just this pile of seeds. It's very unique and something that I haven't really seen very much ever since I got rid of my messer. Or rather, the messer died. You can see here a worker actually grabbing some seed and moving it out of the way. Obviously, I'm trying to get some workers or record some workers that are actually bringing in the seed, but I seem to be failing at doing that. Here is the entrance into the normal outworld, the outworld that actually just I use for feeding them crickets and stuff like that. You can see this worker is rather angry at the tubing for some reason. I really don't know why it's attacking the tubing, but it's rather funny. As I said, this colony has a rather big appetite, which I find is very surprising seeing as in it is going into hibernation or diapause for the species. Poganomermex occidentalis comes from a more high elevation area, so they're actually, you know, they, they experience winter, like snow and all sorts of stuff like that, and they can even be found in Canada, surprisingly enough. So they are rather used to seeing snow and all sorts of stuff like that, so but for about three months of the year, they end up actually needing to go and hibernate. Wow, I cannot speak today, but I mean, I'm keeping that in because that took a while for me to do. As you can see, that is their little bit of seed outworld here, and then this is their actual normal outworld. You can see that actually currently they aren't eating on anything. Uh, I didn't throw anything in for them to eat. You can see a little bit of a dead pile there, but not nothing to, you know, worry about. The colony hasn't had a massive die-off so far. The colony is still around 500 to 600 workers strong. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I want to say sorry for not uploading for nearly a week. Um, I was really busy. I ended up getting a job, and then that job ended up not exactly working out at all. It honestly kind of sucked. I was barely able to get schoolwork done, and I was barely a a able to get videos done. I cannot speak today. It is 9 in the morning. I'm recording this before school. It kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'll let outro me take it away from here, and uh, yeah, bye.